Welcome to ReachMD. You're listening to Everyday Family Medicine with Dr. Jennifer Caudill. As a healthcare provider, we oftentimes come across patients who either don't want to get vaccines themselves or maybe they don't want to have their children vaccinated. There's a number of ways that we can approach the situation. The first thing I like to do is I like to understand why. I like to ask them questions about, well, you know, tell me why you feel that way. Tell me what your concerns are. Have you had bad reactions in the past? What things have you read or have you heard? For me, understanding where a patient or a parent is coming from really plays a big role in how I then proceed. But I also think it's important to make sure that we're getting across evidence-based information. Even if a patient continues to decline vaccines, I still like to say, I understand that that's how you feel, but I would like to let you know that your concern about X, Y, or Z isn't so or is so. I like to give them some information about the particular concerns they have. The other thing I think can be very helpful is giving patients resources. We know that Dr. Google is out there and a lot of people spend a lot of time online looking for health information. What's really important is that we give them evidence-based resources and websites so that they can look up accurate information. So I love to give websites that patients can either take home with them the URLs and take a look on their own. And then my office, we also have patient information handouts that patients and parents can take home with them. For access to more episodes in this series, visit reachmd.com slash everydayfamilymedicine. Thanks for listening. This is ReachMD. Be part of the knowledge.